this video, we're going to discuss about mean deviation. Mean deviation tells how far, on average, all values are from the middle or from the mean. So, tinatawag din itong average deviation. So, kung ikukumpara to sa nakaraang measures of dispersion, masasabi natin na mas reliable ang mean deviation kumpara doon sa range, sa interquartile range, tsaka sa quartile deviation. Kasi dito sa mean deviation, kinukuha niya yung average ng absolute deviations ng bawat individual doon sa set of values or set of numerical data mula doon sa mean. So, hindi siya katulad doon sa range. Halimbawa, doon sa range ang kinukuha mo lang yung difference lang ng highest tsaka ng lowest. So, dito involve yung bawat individual value which is on ang kinukuha nun yung average ng mean deviation nila. Okay? Now, proceed tayo sa formula. Mean deviation of ungrouped data. So, ang gagamitin nating symbol ay MD for mean deviation. So, ito yung formula niya. We have summation of the absolute value of x sub i minus mean, sample mean, for where i is from 1 to n all over n. Where yung x sub i, yun yung individual value yung x bar, yun naman yung mean, tapos yung n, yung total number of observations. So, ang ginagamit na lang natin dito ay yung small n, for example. Kasi usually naman sa, uh, sa actual, ang ginagamit ay sample. Okay? Pero same formula naman ang gagamitin natin for population. So, let's proceed to our example. The following are random data on the number of detergent bars sold daily by a grocery store for 10 days. So, ito yung data natin. Then, determine the mean deviation. So, ang gagamitin natin dito yung formula na ungrouped data. Okay, so for our solution. So, ang gawin natin, gawan muna natin ng table. So, unay natin to para sa first column. Let's say, ito yung number of detergent bars. Detergent bars. Then, ito yung magsisilbing X natin. Tapos, isulat natin to I-arrange na natin. Pero, pwede namang hindi siya naka-arrange. So, mas maganda kasi naka-arrange siya from lowest to highest. So, 16, 18, tapos 22. Then, 23, 25, 27, 33, 34. Then, anong next? 35. Then, 37. So, ilan lahat yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. So, 10. Okay? Then, syempre, ang una natin gagawin, kunin natin yung mean. Kasi yung mean, kasama siya sa formula. So, kung matatandaan nyo yung mean ng ungroup data, ipagpa-plus mo lang to, tapos i-divide sa total number of observations. So, ikunin natin yung sum neto. So, summation. Ito yung magiging summation of x natin. So, ilan yan? So, 16 plus 18 plus 22 plus 23 plus 25 plus 27 plus 33, plus 34, plus 35, plus 37. So, this is equal to 270. So, yun yung summation ng x natin, 270. And then, kunin natin yung mean, yung x bar. That is summation of x all over n. That is 270 over, alin ba yung n natin? Kung ilan to? Ilan ba to? Sampo. No? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. O, oh, sampo. 10. So, what is 270 over 10? So, that is 27. So, yan yung magiging mean natin. Okay? Now, kunin natin yung absolute values ng deviation ng bawat individual values. Uh, bawat individual value dun sa mean. Okay? So, absolute values. Naka-absolute values na. Ito yun. Kunin natin to. Yung absolute value ng x sub i minus mean. Okay, of deviation from the mean, from the mean. 
kahit ito na lang yan, yung symbol niya. X minus min. So, absolute value of X minus min. So, isa-isayin natin yan. 16 minus 27, that is negative 11. Pero, syempre, magiging positive kasi dahil sa absolute value. So, palaging positive yan kasi absolute, naka-absolute value na yun dito. So, 11, 18 minus 27, 9, no? Naka-absolute value. 22 minus 27, that is 5. 23 minus 27, that is 4. 25 minus 27, that is 2. 27 minus 27, 0. 33 minus 27, that is 6. 34 minus 27, that is 7. 35 minus 27, that is 8. And 37 minus 27, 10. Then, kunin natin yung sum neto. X minus mean. Absolute value of X minus mean. Kasi yan yung kailangan sa formula. Ito yun, no? Summation. Okay? So, anong sum neto? 11 plus 9, 20. 29, 31. 37, 44. 52. And plus 10, 62. Okay. Then, i-apply na natin sa formula, mean deviation is equal to summation of the absolute value of x minus mean all over n. So, that is 62 all over 10 and that is 6.2. So, ito na yung ating mean deviation. Okay. So, ganun lang siya kasimple. Now, let's have mean deviation of group data. So, madali lang tandaan to kasi halos kamukha lang naman yung formula niya doon sa mean deviation ng ungrouped data. So, we have MD is equal to summation of F sub I times the absolute value of the difference between X sub I and the mean all over N. Where yung F sub I, yan yung frequency of each class interval. Yung X sub I, yan yung class mark ng bawat class interval tapos yung x bar yan pa rin yung mean then n total number of frequencies or total number of observations okay so let's proceed to our example okay so for example meron tayong classes so ilang class intervals yan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so 7 class intervals and then let's say ito yung corresponding frequencies we have 5, 10, 18, 25, 17, 9, 6. Then, yung total number of frequencies or total number of observations or sample size is 90. Then, hanapin natin yung mean deviation nito. Okay? So, ang una natin gagawin, hanapin muna natin yung class mark kasi involve yung class mark doon sa formula. So, start muna tayo sa class mark. X. So, kung matatandaan nyo pa yung formula ng class mark, ipagpa-plus mo lang yung dalawang to, then divide natin sa 2. So, 41 plus 45, that is 86. Then, divided by 2, that is 43. Okay, so 43. Then, gawin na natin yung technique natin. So, kunin muna natin yung ano, class size. So, 46 minus 41, that is 5. No? So, mag a lang tayo ng pa-55 dito. So, 43 plus 5, 48, plus 5, 53, 58, 63, 68, then 73. Okay? Next, hanapin natin yung F times X. Ang goal natin dito ay makuha muna natin yung value ng mean for group data. Okay? So, F times X muna. O, multiply natin, 5 times 43. So, gagamit tayo ng calculator dito. So, 5. Okay, para makita nyo. So, 5. 5 times 43. So, that is 215. Then, 10 times 48. That is 480. 18 times 53. 954. 25 times 58. That is 1450. 17 times 63, 1071, 9 times 68, 612, and 6 times 73, that is 438. 438. Then, after nyan, ipag-plus natin to lahat. So, yun yung kailangan natin para makuha yung value ng mean. So, summation of fx, so that is... Uh, 215 plus 
480 plus 954 plus 1450 plus 1071 plus 612 plus 438. So that is equal to 5220. So 5220. Then kunin na natin yung mean. So ano yung mean niya? That is summation of fx over n. That is equal to 5220 over 90. So ilan yan? 5220 divided by 9 ay mali. 5220 divided by 90 that is 58. So 58. Okay? So kaya natin kinuha sa mean kasi involved ja uh, involved siya doon sa formula natin. Okay? So next naman hanapin natin yung uh, absolute value ng x minus mean. So absolute value ng x minus mean So, x minus mean. So, 43 minus 58. That is, oh, naka-absolute value. Kaya palaging positive pa rin. So, 15. 48 minus 58, 10. 53 minus 58, that is 5. Then, 0, 5, 10, 15. Okay? Now, uh, i-multiply naman natin yung f tsaka yung absolute value na x minus mean. So, para makompleto na natin yung mga kailangan natin sa formula so absolute value of f uh, absolute value of x minus mean times f so ito yon tsaka ito so 5 times 15 that is 75 10 times 10 that is 100 18 times 5 that is 90 then 25 times 0 17 times 5 that is 85 90 Then, 90. Then, kunin natin yung sum nito. So, summation of f times absolute value of x minus mean. So, that is, argue natin, 75 plus 100 plus 90 plus 85 plus 90 plus 90. Hindi ko na sinama yung 0. So, that is 530. Okay. Okay. Then, kunin na natin yung mean deviation. So, mean deviation is equal to summation of f times the absolute value of x minus mean all over n. That is 530 over 90. So, what is 530 over 90? 530 divided by 90, that is 53 over 9 or 5.88888 and so on. Okay? Then, i-round off natin sa... 2 decimals, so meron tayong 5.89. So, 5.89. Okay, so ganyan lang siya, kasimple. Okay.